Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn the local variable type inference introduced in Java 10. Let's start and follow my steps. Before starting, make sure to have installed in your system Java 10 or above. In my case, I have installed OpenJDK 17. Good. Then let's create a new Java file called java 10 localvarjava Open it with a text editor. In my case, I'm going to open it with Visual Studio Code. Let's create the public class java 10 localvar declaring also the main method. Normally with Java, if we want to declare and use a variable of type string, we have to write string, then the name of the variable, like my string, equals the content, like hello java10. Let's print in the console the value of the variable my string and run the project. Good, we can see in the console hello java10. For the moment nothing new, but because we are using java10, we can use the local variable type inference feature to define a variable using the keyword var and without specifying its type. The Java compiler interferes the type of the variable using the value provided. This is the reason for the name local variable type inference. In our example, we create a new variable myString10 using the keyword var without specifying the type string. Remember that this feature is restricted only to local variables. Let's print the value inside the console. Good, we can see the value of both variables. The first one is where we explicitly define the type string and the other one with the keyword var. Pay attention that once the type of local variable is interfered, it cannot be changed. We cannot assign an integer value, for example, of our myString10 variable. Let's print in the console also the type of class of both variables to see if any differences. As we can see, there is no class difference between both variables, my string and my string 10. The local type variable inference is not dedicated only to variable of type string, but we can use it also with a complex structure like a simple list. If we change from list to var, the Java compiler automatically interferes the type of the variable. Let's print in the console the content of the list and its class. Good, we can see the content of the list, Bob, Tom and Ron, and also the type immutable collection list. We can change the content of the list from string to float values, but the result will not change. We will see the content of the list, in this case, the float values. We have to remember to always initialize the local variable at the time of declaration. We cannot assign a null value. We can assign it with an empty string, an integer if the type int, or even with an optional dot empty. In case we don't initialize the variable, the compiler will not be interfered the type and it will throw an error. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload. And see you in the next one. Bye.